Hey nerds. It's okay, I can call you a nerd because I'm a nerd too. Oh crap, I forgot to wear my glasses. Somebody today told me that I wasn't nerdy enough. So, I, I forgot to, I, I have glasses guys, I swear. Not that I'm saying that people who wear glasses are nerds. This is not a good start to this video. Hey guys, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I uh, got another custom e-bike build for you today. Wanna to go over this bike. What makes this bike uh, interesting and cool and maybe get you some ideas for your build. Let's get right into it. So this is the Specialized Stump Jumper Expert. It's also called the M4. I don't know if that's like the trim level or not, but this is a full suspension mountain bike. Mechanical disc brakes. This, this bike is interesting. I'm gonna go over a few of the things that make this thing interesting. And then we added some things to make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so obviously it was a mountain bike but we switched out the tires on it. Now it's got road, a little bit more road oriented tires. It's still kind of like an in-between, they're like hybrid tires, but these are big fatties. It had 26 by twos on it. Now it's got 26 by 2.4. So they're quite a bit bigger, but this is just a really smooth ride. Having this full suspension and road tires, it's, it's very smooth. And we put a BBS 02 motor on it. And if you guys know this motor, it's, it's very quiet. This motor is, it's a very quiet motor and riding with these road tires and this is very smooth and quiet. It's almost eerie. It's almost like no other bike I've ridden before, how smooth and quiet this thing is. It's like riding a Cadillac. So yeah, we got the motor, BBS02, 750 watts. Uh, battery is a 52 volt, 14 amp hour. This is the slim profile one. It just, see, it just barely fits in here. I was, I was worried that it wasn't going to fit in there, but it does. Another interesting thing about this bike is these brakes are backwards. I didn't put them in backwards. I know what I'm doing, but they came backwards. So the right is the front brake. Left is the rear. Kind of messed me up when I was first trying to test this thing out. I was like, what's going on? I don't know if this, if they did this, the user did this, or if it came that way, maybe it's like an Australian bike or something, you know, on the other side of the hemisphere, everything's backwards. For the throttle, he wanted a twist throttle. So it's, it's like a motorcycle throttle. And this comes in a set. So you got the matching hand grips. And then it's also got this. So it's like ring, 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 ring. There's pros and cons to doing that, to having a twist grip versus a thumb throttle. It is a little bit easier to just, if you're right, going for long rides and you're just gonna wanna sit on the throttle, it's a little bit easier to just do this. You don't get thumb fatigue. But it is kind of, I've noticed this throttle doesn't have a very, like there's not like a potentiometer in here. I don't feel like if there is, it's very, it's, it's mostly like on or off. <laughs> there's not like me. Do you guys like my sound effects? Um, for the display, we went with the 850C or the DPC 14, it's the same display. Um, it's kind of nice, it's a big, it's a bigger display which, you know, people always ask me which display to go with. And I usually recommend either this one or the 500C if you want a color display. The 500C is a really small, a little bit more incognito, and it's all in one. This one's got a separate controller than the display. The 500C is all in one. So it's kind of, you wanna pick whether you want a big display or a small one. This one, pretty much the only difference is this one will show you an estimated range on it, um, which I don't know, maybe for you, like I like that. Maybe for you, you don't care. You just want a small, something real small. We did put a gear shift sensor on it. This is a mid drive. So you got to put a, a gear shift sensor on it. Oh, and we switched out the pedals. We put platform pedals on it. He had those, the clip in style but we just went with some comfort platform pedals on this one. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test, see how this bad boy does. You can see the hill climb. This bike performed admirably, like it was in the Navy. Top speed was about 31 miles per hour. I bet you I could get this to go about another one or two miles per hour if I, you know, filled these tires up a little bit more. So right now it's at the lowest end, it's at 30. It's rated between 30 and 60. So this thing is just plush. It's like riding in a Cadillac El Dorado, or whatever your favorite Cadillac was. Insert that name right there. But yeah, and this has got the 44 tooth 
chain ring on it. So, I mean, you can put that down to the 36 or even the 28 and this thing would just be an even more of a wheelie machine. And you can see this bad boy bucked me off the first time I tried to, first time I tried to do it, I had to like get down low just to stay on it before it would just go over, so. All right, well, hopefully this video helped you guys, gave you some ideas for one of your builds. And uh, yeah, see you later.